we've gone battles and look, you're going to get some of this at the time when you're playing a short season with so many games, but it's absolutely ridiculous. It was mishandled by uh, the Yankees. Uh, certainly the pitcher on the mound. It was mishandled by the umpires. They hit Joey Wendell intentionally in the first inning. It was clear as day. Chapman comes in, he throws three different balls up and in. I get it. They don't like being thrown up and in, but enough's enough. We we're talking about a 100 mile an hour fastball over a young man's head. It just, it makes no sense. It's, it's, it's poor, poor judgment, poor judgment, poor coaching. It's just poor teaching what they're doing and what they're allowing to do. The chirping from the dugout. I, I mean, somebody would have to tell me, go pull the numbers. Who's hit who more? Uh, but I can assure you, other than the, Three years ago, there hasn't been one pitch thrown with intent from any of our guys, period. Somebody's got to be accountable. And the last thing I'll say on it is I got a whole damn stable full of guys that throw 98 miles an hour, period. All right, so we heard Cash elaborate on those comments. What are your thoughts, Flash? Obviously very aggressive. Um, you know, Kevin is a, a guy that I know well, and he's obviously not happy with this, and I understand it. When Chapman throws 100 miles an hour at one of your batter's heads, it's going to get your attention. But I, I agree with them on the Joey Wendell Tanaka message in the first inning. The difference is Tanaka went about it the right way. You throw a ball down at the lower half, you take care of it, you move on, and you play the game. Uh, I did not like the comment from Kevin saying it's poor coaching. That's not fair. I mean, I don't think anybody from Aaron Boone to the coaching staff to the organization would ever coach that way or promote that type of, of business. So whatever Chapman did, I don't know if it was intentional. It looked to me like he was trying to send a message and moving towards home plate if Russo wanted a piece of him. Not fair to go to the coaching staff and the manager. Yeah, Jack, let me get your take because at the very least with that last comment from Kevin Cash, it gets the umpire's attention and Major League Baseball's attention for this series finale tomorrow right flash latched onto the point about coaching I was going to say Kevin Cash has every right to be upset and he's angry and he's perturbed and he's protecting his players as he should but to say at the end I have an entire stable of pitchers who throw 98 miles an hour now you're inciting as well now you're potentially threatening going forward so we've already laid out that what a role Chapman did in that situation looked awful for the Yankees and there's evidence to say why would you do that but now cash in his lather is maybe inciting it even more so they've got one more game left this year they might meet in the postseason but I said at the top of the show the game is over the animosity and the venom between these two teams I'm not sure we've ever seen it at a higher level. Yeah, Jack, and I wonder if, if Kevin Cash is inciting his own pitching staff there, right? He's got a stable of arms who throw 98 miles an hour. They're sitting in that clubhouse getting ready to, to play tomorrow night. Are they thinking, I have to take this on myself because our manager is kind of calling us out a little bit. It, it's just a mess. I, I'm surprised Kevin went there. Uh, I think the emotions got the best of him, and I think as he goes back to his hotel tonight, he'll probably regret some of those comments about 98 we can do that too and about the coaching staff of the Yankees I understand the emotion but some of the comments were a little off mark for me and, and Jack that's why I said what I said earlier that cash with those statements almost put the ball on a tee for something to happen tomorrow which almost in a way alerts everybody the umpires the authority to diffuse it before anything can happen tomorrow to put out the quick word hey if any of this nonsense goes on somebody's getting a quick toss. Well, Major League Baseball has a disciplinary team, and those comments have already been heard. So I would guess, and this would be a very logical guess, that there might be warnings issued before the game even starts tomorrow based on what Chapman did at the end of the game, based on how the two teams came together at the end of the game, and based on the post-game comments. I think what Flash said earlier is perfect. Tanaka hit a batter, and Tanaka did it in a right way. And pitchers will tell you this. There are times where you feel you have to defend your own players. There is a way to hit a batter, and it's usually in the waist area, waist or below. But when you throw a pitch in the area that Aroldis Chapman did, that, that's scary. Whether you're a Rays fan, whether you're a Yankee fan, and you're watching that, that could be a pitch that does damage and does serious damage. And that's why we're talking about this to the length that we are. As I said, wouldn't it be surprised if MLB has some pregame instructions for both of these teams?